Autoimmunity uh, requires, as we know today, three main factors. One is our genetics, two is the environment, so the food you consume, the chemicals around you, and the third is what protects your body from the outside world, and that is the gut lining. By becoming aware of your environment, the chemicals that are in it, the way your food is produced, then you can turn on a new set of genes. You can turn on the genes for health. We haven't changed genetically, but we have absolutely changed epigenetically, meaning how we're controlling our genome. We now recognize that our gene profile is actively interacting with our food, with our lifestyle, how much sleep we get, the level of stress that we have. All of these factors are changing our genetic expression moment to moment, and empowering is the notion that about 70% of our genes that are involved in health and longevity are controlled by factors over which we have control, diet being very important uh, in, in terms of those factors. I've been studying epigenetics and it's quite remarkable how quickly uh, things can, can go downhill. There's a generational effect. Sometimes these things get worse with the next generation. So there's a memory at the epigenetic level. You know, there's been a lot of concentration on the genes and looking at the mutations and thinking in terms of um, proteins being made incorrectly. But there's a whole other level to DNA um, that's probably much more complicated and much more important than the actual gene sequence of the genes. And this has to do with these modifications to the DNA that happen for example, during development, so methylation of the DNA. And methylation depends upon methionine, and methionine is depleted by glyphosate. So when you don't have enough methionine, then the DNA gets hypomethylated in the brain. And that is, has been linked to autism. So uh, it's really scary to think about the consequences. Every bite of food we take has a hormonal impact within the body, and that we have this incredible ability to affect how our genes express themselves. Our genes do not act in a vacuum. Our genes aren't self-determined. Our genes require input from us to turn on or off.